mini episode 1570 of the FDA Lounge is brought to you by Sportsology, delivering unconventional columns and webcasts about sports, TV, music, movies, and more. Follow them on the web at sportsology.com. The FDH Lounge. You want to schedule your life around it. A long time ago, on a gloomy, wet Cleveland spring night, two men stand alone amidst the late night drizzle. Their voices echo across the vacant station parking lot as they debate the merits of the great American radio show that have been missing for far too long. On that night, an idea was born. That idea became the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. Hello and welcome to FDH Lounge mini episode 1570, the weekly FDH football preview show. I'm FDH managing partner Rick Morris here with our preview for week 18 of the 2022 NFL season as well as a look at college football. For last week's college pick, we were 3 and 3 and are 24 and 15 for the season. Here's our look at the college football national championship. Georgia is laying 12 and a half to TCU at SoFi Stadium in LA on Monday night after two of the most thrilling postseason games in NCAA history. The Horned Frogs surprised the world by dominating Michigan in the trenches on both sides of the ball, both rushing and mitigating the Wolverine rush far more than anyone would have believed. Managing to do both against Georgia, however, will be a different story altogether. It's true that Ohio State imposed its will on the Bulldogs to a shocking degree, but that was entirely through the dominance of the passing game. OSU did nothing on the ground, and Texas Christian cannot hope to hang close without augmenting its aerial game with the ground and pound, and they probably can't. It is likely, though, that the Frogs won't produce the Swiss cheese secondary that allowed Stetson Bennett to carve up Ohio State. Georgia will probably resemble stylistically the team that they've been most of the year, which would allow them to grind out a narrow cover and the first repeat national championship since Alabama a decade ago, Georgia 31, TCU 16. A quick NFL note before we get started, going back to that tragic, unprecedented scene on Monday night. Amidst all of the horror of the DeMar Hamlin collapse and aftermath, while social media and some notable instances quickly showed the worst of humanity, so many, many more examples from people in all walks of life revealed the best of it. From the universal call for prayers from a society that is sadly usually cynical about the effects of them, to the millions of dollars raised for Hamlin's charity, to the general feeling that people had in pulling together and wishing for the best, this moment actually spotlighted what a weary, divisive society is still capable of at the dawn of 2023. Just contrast that to the clown show on the floor of the House of Representatives this week. It's good to see this positivity at such an awful time, and of course, we join people everywhere in sending our prayers to Hamlin and all who are affected, starting with his family, friends, and teammates, and we send them to T. Higgins as well, the target of ignorant threats just because of his participation in a sad one-in-a-million fluke play, and Hamlin's recovery has been amazing and wonderful to see. Here's our NFL Top 10 for this week. 1 Buffalo, 2 Kansas City, 3 Cincinnati, 4 Philadelphia, 5 Dallas, 6 San Francisco, 7 Minnesota, 8 the LA Chargers, 9 Baltimore, 10 Jacksonville. Here's your bottom 5, 28 Arizona, 29 Chicago, 30 Indianapolis, 31 Denver, 32 Houston. In the NFL, we were going for our fourth season since 2016 of being profitable, i.e. above 52.4%, picking every game of the season. After being above it the first four weeks, now we're below after a rough stretch. Last week, we were 4-11, and 2-1 and on the big three, and 0-1 and on the lock. We're 106, 126, and 9, 22, 25, and 1, and 10 and 7 on the season. Here's our picks this week. Cincinnati minus 9 over Baltimore. Minnesota minus 6 over Chicago, Buffalo minus 7 over New England, Carolina plus 3.5 over New Orleans, Cleveland plus 2.5 over Pittsburgh, Houston plus 2.5 over Indianapolis, Miami minus 3.5 over the New York Jets, Atlanta minus 4 over Tampa Bay, Philadelphia minus 14 over the New York Giants, Dallas minus 7 over Washington, the LA Chargers minus 3.5 over Denver, 
Seattle minus 5.5 over the LA Rams, and Arizona plus 14 over San Francisco. For our big three, it's Kansas City minus 8.5 over Las Vegas, and Detroit plus 4.5 over Green Bay, and in the Thousand Star Gold Plated Lock of the Millennium for NFL Week 18, it's Jacksonville minus 6.5 over Tennessee. Thank you for joining us for this mini episode of the FDH Lounge.